not going yet. Okay. Mom is a mess. I have it in the backpack just in case. We do a YouTube channel. Hello, camera. <laughs> this is a YouTube channel. Does everybody see how messy everything is? Getting ready all week? Man. Mommy's house is messy every time she has to get ready for the weekend. So we're gonna go to the bin store? Yeah, it's on East Kellogg Drive. On Kellogg? All right, well, let's go because we're not gonna make it there if we don't hurry up. I gotta get my purse. I can't go without my purse. This is what it is like leaving the house every time. We got packages to ship. Listen, I'm gonna need you to carry a lot of the stuff because mommy's arms are about to be full. We gotta stop by, we gotta stop by the post office on the way. Got some nut orders to ship. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Ah! Closed the door on me. Sorry. It's all right. Except I forgot to bring my cup of water. I'm gonna have to come get it. Oh, hush. Oh, I need to make sure I take water because without fail, Benjamin will get thirsty and we'll have nothing to drink. So I haven't said this yet, but we are going back to the 99 cent bin store because it is dollar 99 day. And so I'm really hoping that I can find stuff similar to what I found on 399 day, which was yesterday. Um, I'm hoping I can find similar stuff. The reason why I think there's hope is because when we went the last time, ooh, when we went the last time, we got there pretty late in the day. So that means that, I think what that means is that there was a lot of stuff already picked over and the stuff that we found. Hi mom. Hi Ben. The stuff that we found was actually stuff that people didn't want. So with any hope, that means that that kind of stuff will also be there today, which is $1.99 day, because <laughs> I sold just about everything that I got for $3.99 there within a week, so. Can you plug in my cord? Yes, I can plug in your cord. So we're gonna go pick up my friend Misty. You might remember her from the last one. She wants to come with us. Uh, and we're gonna uh, go do some bin shopping. You ready? Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like Thanks and for watching. That's Bye. right. Like and subscribe if you like videos like this. Right, Ben? Right. Right. All right, we gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye. It says discount 99. They had mystery boxes. That's gonna come in an upcoming video. I can't do it all, but that's everything I got. Got a couple mystery boxes. I will show you more in detail everything I got when I get home. And I made it home. So when I first walked into the 99 cent discount bin store, I was disappointed. I'm just being real. I actually avoided all of the dollar item shelves. Um, w the last time I went, and if you missed that last video, I'll link it up in the iCards or in the video description or somewhere. But the first place I went was the dollar shelves because they have it set up to where 
uh, the middle section is like all Target dollar spot and everything is a dollar every single day. And the bins were a little bit pricier. They were $3.99 at the bins. So I wanted to start with like the dollar items first. This time I actually made a beeline straight for the bins because it was $1.99 day. The first bin and a half I went to, I was super, super disappointed. I'm just looking in, the, in these bins and I'm like, this is all a bunch of junk. Coming here on $1.99 day was a mistake. I should have came yesterday for $3.99 again. This blows. But the more and more I dug, I actually started to find some stuff. And much to my surprise, I actually found a lot of items that I think are gonna be really good for eBay because I hit up the health and beauty table. So all my OGs know I'm a health and beauty girl. I love selling health and beauty. Are we just gonna have an animal parade behind me? Get, can't do nothing. So I love selling health and beauty products online and the health and beauty table was all $1.99. I really didn't get any health and beauty the last time I went because I was not about ready to pay $3.99 for a lot of that stuff. But for $1.99, I found some things that I could turn a profit on for eBay. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna try putting some of that stuff on the Facebook page first and then put it on eBay if it doesn't sell on the Facebook page. I am I am undecided. Anything that's health related, it seems like it doesn't do very well on my Facebook page, so I might just put it straight on eBay, I don't know. But most of this stuff, if not all of it, is gonna end up going on my Facebook page. So. Every time you guys hear me say that I'm selling on Facebook, I am not talking about Facebook Marketplace, I'm talking about my business Facebook page where I post items where people claim in the comments and they buy them from me off of my business Facebook page. So you might have seen some items that I grabbed. So a lot of these, I didn't even honestly bother looking up comps. I do have some comps, like the stuff for the eBay. Uh, I do have some comps that I had looked up, but a lot of the stuff that is like this, I didn't bother looking up comps because I just know from having my business Facebook page for like two years now, I just know what my customers are willing to buy and what they're willing to pay for it. So I got three of these for $1.99 each, so two bucks each. They are just cute backpack laundry bags. So I got three of the green white stripe. I know that I can sell these for five or six bucks, so it's a little more than double my money. I've sold stuff like this for 10 bucks before. It is a two pack of door draft stoppers. So they're those uh, foam kind of thingies that you put under your door and it stops the drafts from underneath your door. So I'm pretty sure I can sell that for 10 bucks and it's a two pack that I got for $2. This I actually looked up and it was $35 on Amazon. It is a Teeny Mates Series X Superstar Collector Set for the, uh, what is it? N, what, N, NLB? National, wait, NBL? Oh my gosh, I'm such a stupid head. MLB. Baseball, honey. Yes, I know it's baseball. I just couldn't think of what the, the. Organization was? No, the, the. the league? The, uh, 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 and, and not anagram. What the acronym acronym was. I couldn't think of the acronym. <laughs> MLB, Major League Baseball. Yay, sports, Lindy. <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> Hot dogs and touchdowns. That's what I know about baseball. <laughs> I know touchdowns football. I'm not that way. I just couldn't think of MLB for some reason. So this is actually $35 on Amazon and um, it's a little ripped. Somebody ripped it up. So I'm probably not gonna put it online. I'll just flip it on the Facebook page. I'm sure I can get like 10 bucks out of it. It's got 13 little figures, so I'm sure I could sell it for 10 bucks. This is a extra large size doggy door. So see little screen doggy door. I've sold pet doors before for, you know, 10, 12 bucks. So I'm sure I can get at least 10 out of that. Something like this I thought would be perfect to sell over the summer because kids are out of school. They're looking for activities. I was really hesitant thinking that maybe stuff fell out. However, because the box is like, the box is not that like tough, 
but it still has the factory sealed stickers on it. And yes, this is pretty dinged up, but it's they're like not big enough to where anything could have fallen out. So I am pretty sure that this is intact. It's just a little dinged up. And the clearance sticker for Target is $4.50, normally priced $15. So I would imagine I could sell this for $7.00 easy i might try to push for eight or nine but i know it'll sell for seven which is you know two and a half times what i paid for it something like this little curtain lights to hang up your photos again same same kind of deal as that the box is pretty banged up you could tell it was in a gaylord getting smashed and uh, all of the factory sealed stickers are still on here so everything is still intact this is another like $15 item on Amazon. I'm sure I can get seven or eight bucks for it. Stuff like this. I have a lot of people on my page that do like craft things and DIY things. I'm thinking that this is a five pound, uh, five pound thingy of fill. Uh, it's just like that memory foam kind of fill. And so I figured someone would want this. It's on Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks, so I'm sure that I could sell it for eight, nine, ten dollars. I thought this was so pretty. It's so the box, this is another one of those things I'm like, oh, it's you know what happens when it's been rolling around in the bins for days and days and days. I'm like, is it missing anything? It's still pretty taped up, and I think what somebody did is they just ripped it right here just to maybe see what the color was, because you could see the color of the wood and stuff right here. Everything else is still pretty taped up. I can hear some clinging. It sounds like the hardware's still in there. So I'm gonna, so I was like, I'm gonna take a chance. This was a really, really pretty corner um, monitor stand. I wanna show you guys the Amazon listing so you could see it. So it's $36 on Amazon, but that's what it is. It's just a monitor stand for a corner desk. Isn't that cool? So it's $36. I'm sure I could sell it for at least 10, at least 10. So this, I'm going to teach you guys something in case you didn't know this already. A lot of people were passing this by. I think they were passing this by because they're like, oh, it's a jewelry box. And they're going to open it and they're like, oh, it's a jewelry box that doesn't have the little tray and all the things, whatever. But that's not what this is. This is a Faraday box. So it is not worth a ton of money, however, it does have some value. So the price range on these boxes varies anywhere from 12 to $25, just depending on the size. But it is an anti-theft box. It is completely surrounded by RFID. So if you want to put like your phone in here or your car keys or your wallet or any of that kind of stuff, it protects from, what do you call it? RFID, RFID, I don't know. It's an RFID protected box. I have sold these before, that's how I knew what it was. I saw the name Sam Folk here, and as soon as I saw Sam Folk, I was like, I know what that is, because I know that I could sell this for at least $8, which is four times what I paid for it. This is something I'm gonna try to put on the Facebook page. I don't know how it's gonna perform, but it's Alicane Max. It's you know a lidocaine uh, pain cream. It doesn't expire until August of 26. So it still has well over two years to go. And the comps on eBay were like 12, 13, $14. So I'm wondering if I can get like six or seven on the Facebook page. If I can't get uh, six or seven on the Facebook page, I'll just put it on eBay. Cause I've sold that kind of stuff on eBay before. This, I wasn't able to find the exact listing, but it's just like a little tiered wire step rack step step wire tiered tiered rack i don't know what you want to call it um but something like that for the kitchen or something i'm sure i can get seven bucks out of that i thought these were really cute these are uh quirky kitty bento box puzzles so they're just little slidey puzzles for your kitty cat to play with. They are on target.com for like $15.99. I'm sure that I can sell these for seven bucks a piece. This is something else that wasn't worth as much as I thought it was gonna be worth, but I thought it was cool enough and I thought that my customers would want it. It's a Dr. Brown's uh, formula pitcher. So it's got, I don't know if you could see inside, but when you go up and down, it actually mixes 
the formula and then you could pour it into the bottle like that. I thought it was pretty cool. It's only 10 bucks on Amazon, but I figured surely I have a customer that would be willing to pay six or seven dollars, which is, you know, three, three and a half times what I paid for it. This is something else I figured I would just put on eBay. I've sold Culturelle on eBay before and the box is in pristine condition. It does not expire until February of 25 and it's selling for about $17 on eBay, so that's where that's gonna go. I've actually sold this on my Facebook page before. I think it was like $8 is what I sold it for, but it is a bike lock. I don't think this one is as long as the other one, but I'm sure I can get seven or $8 out of it. And then these are drawer separators, so they're just like these little plastic, things that you can like extend and expand so that you can put dividers in your drawers so that you don't have to have like the drawer organizers for your drawers. You can create walls in your drawers with this. Uh, something like this, I'm not exactly sure what it's worth on Amazon, but I know I can sell this for eight bucks on the Facebook page. This is another eBay item. I've sold Thera, Thera Tears, Thera Tears, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't expire until October, so I do need to uh, get it listed. The box is a little dinged up, but it's still sealed. It has 30 individual vials for uh, dry eye therapy, and this was selling for about $17 on eBay. This is just a little simple card reader. I sell stuff like this on my Facebook page all the time for about seven bucks. I found not one, but two of these. So these actually sell for $25 on Amazon. I was surprised by that. They are this hands-free flip stick. So it kind of serves like a, like a little stand for your phone, but then it also sticks to any surface. So you can like stick your phone onto things and whatnot. But these were $25 a piece on Amazon. I'd be satisfied with seven bucks on my Facebook page. I got two of them. This is something else I did not look up the value to because the frankly, the value doesn't matter. I just know what I can sell it for. It is a two piece set for fireplace. So this is a, it, you just screw it on. It just, it hooks together, but it's like a fireplace poker. And then this is like a, a log grabber, eh. like woo. So I am sure I could sell the two piece set for 10 bucks, minimum seven, definitely worth the $2 I paid for it. So this is another uh, gel eye drop. It's not worth nearly as much on eBay, but I went ahead and got it anyway because I'm wondering if I could flip it for five bucks on the Facebook page. It doesn't expire till the end of the year. I wanted to try it on the Facebook page. And if it doesn't sell on my Facebook page, I'll just put it on eBay and I, you know, maybe double my money on it or something. I went ahead and got it anyway, why not? This is something else I plan to put on the Facebook page because this stuff does sell. So these are the Tom's Clean Coast Dermatologist Tested Aluminum Free Deodorants. So this is a multi-pack of six, six Tom's deodorants. I got two six packs, six pack for $1.99, or we'll just call it $2. I know that I can sell this for $7. So 14, so that's both of these would be, you know, I'm not mathing right now. Four, four into seven, two and, to it. Oh my gosh. It's been a long day. Two into seven is almost three and a half times my money. There we go. Three and a half times my money. That's what I was looking for. Got this because we all need a little bit of chapstick and I'm out. So it's mine. I wasn't even sure how many of these I got, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of these. See? Eight, eight of these. They are the Nicorette Lodge, 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 uh, Ice Mint. They're the two milligram. The two milligram is not worth as much as the four. Everybody looks for the four, not necessarily the two. They all expire 2025. There was other ones in there that expired at like 
a month ago. So I picked out all of the ones that I could find that don't expire till 2025 because I'm going to lot all of them up together. Oh no, those are my styrofoam peanuts. What the hell did you buy? <laughs> those are styrofoam packing peanuts for insulation. <laughs> So I have eight of these. I don't know if I'm gonna do two lots of four or if I'm gonna do one lot of eight. Undecided. Um, probably gonna end up being a lot of eight just so I can sell them all in one fell swoop because if I have eight of these, that means that I am out of pocket $16. And if I could sell the lot for like 50 bucks, I would be satisfied. So that's that. And then the last thing I have to show, I bought five of these. This is probably something else I'm going to lot up because I see a lot of singles on eBay. And in my opinion, when there's a lot of competition for something on a platform like eBay, you have to do something different that stands out. Because there's so many people selling singles of these, this is a Felix Grey Insight Eye Comfort and Vision Support. It's 60 capsules. There's a lot of people selling singles. I think I'm gonna sell packs of two or three just to try to move them a little faster. I have five of them, so I might do one pack of two, one pack of three, um, or I might try to sell all five at once. I don't know. They don't expire until the bottle inside is sealed. They don't expire until February of 2026. So I could sell all five together and someone would have enough to use before they all expired. So I might just try to fill them, uh, sell them in all one fell swoop. They were originally $33 a piece. So that's a pretty good value. I'm gonna try to sell five for maybe 30 or $40 plus shipping just so that I can sell them really fast. We'll have to see. That is everything that I got at the 99 cent bin store today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out everything that I got. I will have my business page linked down in the video description if you wanna go check it out and see, you know, how I choose to post items on my Facebook page for sale. I have also opened up the whole page to shipping. So if you've seen something in one of my haul videos and you're interested, you can go claim it and I will ship products now. Before it was local only. Now I have figured out a system for shipping. So if you'd like to go check out my page, feel free to do so. I appreciate all of you guys being here. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you leave. I really appreciate it and the YouTube algorithm really, really likes it. Leave me any questions or comments down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because those two mystery boxes I bought, I'm gonna be opening them in a different video. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you get notified the next time I, you know, post one of those if you wanna see what came in a $10 mystery box from this bin store. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.